Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, we're... Con no, you can't see because I'm not in frame. Uh, here. We are continuing my makeup collection storage videos. So we're going to do powders, setting spray, and primers today. Maybe foundations, seeing... Like, we'll see how long this takes, but I'll just begin. So... First is my powders, and I'm just taking them randomly. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect. I I thought I, I had tried this in a video, but maybe not because it's still sealed. But I am very curious about this powder because a lot of people say it's really good. So I have... This is... um. I guess it's a mini size, but it's big for a mini, but it's not the full size, so yeah. This is the Ciate Everyday Vacay Coconut Setting Powder. I got this in a boxy charm. It's just like a translucent powder, like this. It doesn't really smell like coconut. I thought it was going to, but not really, so. I have this one. This is the powder I'm trying to use up. It was in my everyday makeup drawer. It's from Aveda. It's the Mineral Loose Powder. It's like a big tub, so it's taking me forever, but I really like this powder. It's supposed to be translucent, but it does have like a beige tint, but it doesn't like give any coverage really. It's really a translucent powder. So I use this like for under my eyes. Um, I used to, well, it's, I wouldn't really call it baking because I used to put loose powder under my eye, but it was more like to catch fallout from eyeshadow. And I want to start doing that again because I notice sometimes my eyeshadows mess up my concealer. So yeah, I'm going to put this in my everyday drawer so I use it up because it's the oldest powder in my collection. The rest of these are mini sizes. So I have a mini Becca um, Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. So this is that weird one that... Um, it's a powder, but when you put on the skin, it has like a cooling effect and it kind of becomes like a cream almost. So yeah, I have this. I should use this one up too because I don't know how like stable that formula is and it's getting older. I have a KVD setting powder, translucent. What is this actually called? Locket setting powder, I think. Yeah, I haven't opened this one. So all of these minis are like backups. I don't have any thoughts on them because I haven't used any of them yet. Um, I have a Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is the original. I guess this one is more like a, like all over face powder. Like you can wear it as a powder foundation. I think that's what it's meant for, but I have that. And then I have two of these Laura Mercier, but one is the new translucent loose setting powder, the glow one. So it has like a sheen to it. And then this one is the original. I believe I did try this in a video and I didn't love it. You can't, I don't know why I'm showing this to you, but <laughs> they all look the same. They're powders. But yeah, I need to try this again because this used to be like everyone's go-to powder and I feel like people don't like it anymore because now there's so many like powders on the market that are like they absorb really well into the skin and they don't leave you looking super dry. So yeah, I don't know about that one, but we'll see. So those are all the powders that I have. Obviously, I don't need any more note to self. I have all of these. Then we'll do primers, I guess. So I have a mini, why isn't this focusing? A mini Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. 
This is another really popular product that I don't know much about because I haven't used it much. I believe I did use it one time. So that's this one. This is like supposedly very good for dry skin because it's very moisturizing. Same with this one actually. This is a mini Smashbox photo finish primerizer. So another like cream type primer that I don't remember anything about. This one is new from a BoxyCharm. It's the Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer, Energize and Rescue with Aloe, Coconut Water, and Probiotic Silicone Free. Oh, I think I did... I don't know if I used it on my face, but I remember comparing it to my favorite primer, which is the um, First Day Beauty Coconut Smoothie, whatever. And this is basically like the same thing as that, so... I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like this. Um, yeah, so I do also have that primer, but it's in another place, like on my desk thing. So that's, you'll see that later in like the overview video or something. Um, then I have this VDL Lumi Layer Primer Fresh. I also had the, just the regular Lumi Layer Primer but I believe I gave it to my mom because I don't need to, you know, like, and this one was more like illuminating if I remember. So I have this too. This, <laughs> I don't think I've used yet. I've just put it on my hand, but, but it's the Kaja uh, Dream Puff Radiant Mousse Primer. So it's one of those things where you pump it out. I won't do it right now because it'll make a mess, but it's like a, like a shaving cream texture almost, but more like foamy. So I'm actually really curious about this. I should use it soon. And I just saw that Flower Beauty came out with the same kind of product and everyone's like, oh my God, it's so cool. I'm like, this already existed for a long time. <laughs> But yeah, so I have this. This is another one that I haven't used but I'm very curious about. It's the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. Yeah, you can see like there's like these beads in it and supposedly there's like actual watermelon in here. So I'm very curious about this. I also have this NYX Angel Veil, which I bought um, to have like a drugstore primer on hand, and I remember liking this. This is more like a silicone primer though, like a pore filler, so normally I like more hydrating primers, but I remember this being good. This one is a mini Becca Velvet Blurring Primer. I don't know anything about this. I haven't used it. At least I don't think I have. This one, I wasn't sure if I should keep it in my makeup because it's more like a skincare product, but it's the Milk Makeup um, Cooling Water. Cooling Water? Is that what it's called? So, yeah, another one of these Milk Stick things that I haven't used and I need to because they're cream and liquid and whatever. And then this is like a little tiny Farsali liquid glass, which I'm curious about also. It's supposed to be like, you know, a glass skin kind of look. So yeah, I have that. Is that, I think that's all for primers, at least what I have here. And then setting sprays. So this first one is, not focusing. This is the Iconic Glendon Prep Set Glow Water Mist Original. So if you can see at the bottom, there's like all this shimmery stuff. So you have to shake it up before you use it. And then it looks like really cool in the bottle. So I need to use this because I don't remember very much about it. And I really like the Icon Iconic London, the liquid highlighter, so I... Oh my God. 
So I'll probably like this too. Here's one that I haven't even taken the plastic off. This is In Beauty. Is that what it's called? I, I, N, I, N, N, Beauty. I don't know. Um, Power Up Dual Face Setting Mist. I got this from BoxyCharm. And I heard really good things about this brand, so I'm, I am curious about this, but I just haven't opened it yet because I want to use what's already open and getting older. Like this one. This is my Sephora Coconut Water Hydrating Mist. It's almost empty, if you can see. So I'll probably finish that. Um, pretty soon. I really like this, but unfortunately, I don't think Sephora makes it anymore. But it's really good, and I love coconut, so yeah, I really like this. Um, I also have this Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. This one apparently has glitter in it, so you have to shake it really, really well before you use it, um, from what I've heard. But yeah, I have this one. And then I have three of these mini MAC Fix Plus. So I finished my full size one. So I'll get to these eventually. This one is coconut. So I'm going to love that. And then I have rose. This one. And I believe lavender. Yeah, lavender. So, as long as those smell like what they should smell like, I know I'm going to love this because I love the Fix Plus. It's really good for dry skin. Yeah, should we? I guess we have time to do foundation and concealer. Yeah, I don't think I can make a separate video just for that because I actually don't have too many in that category. Um, so this one here, this is the VDL Perfect Lasting Foundation. I have a video using this and the primer and some other VDL products because I got like a whole box from Influencer one time and I was really happy because I really liked the products and yeah, it was a really like big box to send like a very small creator in quotation marks like me but yeah so I remember really liking this I haven't used it much since that video just because I've been you know using other stuff on rotation but I do want to get back into this this is the you can see my ugly socks <laughs> this is the makeup forever reboot foundation I have a video just on this and a wear test if you want to check it out um, I wasn't like super in love with this, but it was okay. I just, I guess my expectations were really high because when this came out, like everyone was like, oh my God, it's the new best foundation on the market. And I was like, I don't know. It looks kind of makeup-y on me. But yeah, maybe my skin is like better now because I've been doing my skincare pretty regularly and I never leave the house so I'm not getting <laughs> any like pollution or outside things affecting it so I would like to try this again and see how I like it. Oh this one I definitely have to use up. This is the Tarte um, Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation that they don't even make anymore because they launched a new foundation which is basically this exact thing but in a pump. So, yeah, but this one comes in a jar like this. I actually have made quite a dent in it, if you can see that. Um, so, yeah, and I do also have the brush that comes with this, so you can, like, scoop it out with the end of the brush and then buff it in. So, yeah, I want to use this one up. This will probably be in my rolling project pan, which I intend to get to at some point. Then I have this MAC next to nothing face color which is literally like next to nothing that is that's a good name for it because you can barely see it on your skin i'm not even sure what they intended with this product but i bought it um for like when i go 
I keep saying this in my videos when I travel, but I never travel anymore because, you know, COVID. But <laughs> yeah, this would be good like on a vacation when you don't want to put like a full face of makeup on, but maybe you want to put just a little something. Um, but that being said, I this is so like, not transparent, but sheer. This is so sheer that it barely even covers anything anyway so then i'm like then why what's the purpose i don't know <laughs> i've tried to make it work but yeah i think i have to revisit this one and maybe it will get decluttered if i don't see a use for it this is one of my favorites but it's a i don't know it might be a bit too light for me so i only really wear it in like the winter months but yeah, this is the Makeup Forever Water Blend. I think this might be discontinued because it's on the Sephora sale section. So I'm a bit concerned because I really like this. It feels really nice on the skin. It's really good for dry skin. Um, but yeah, the shade's a bit light for me. It's R210. But this is like another like sheer foundation. So. Even though it's a bit light, it doesn't like give me like a full, you know, ghost face kind of deal. So yeah, really like this. And then I just have three concealers. I definitely have more. Yeah, I have more concealers than this, but they're in other places, I think. I don't really know what I did right now. <laughs> but you'll see them at the end. Um, of the series. So this one I need to use up. This is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer in Fair. I don't love this one. It's like like one of those serum-y kind of textures, but I can make it work. Then I have this Bare Minerals Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer. I remember really liking this. But yeah, another one I need to use. This one I haven't even opened yet. I got it in a boxy charm. It's from Pretty Vulgar. It's the undercover undercover concealer. And I have this shade Little White Lies. It looks like a good shade, I think. I was a bit worried it'd be too deep, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for this video. I still have to do blush and bronzer and then Yeah, I'll do <laughs> one very long video on lips and also Somewhere I'll put in eye stuff like glitters and <clears throat> Pots and like single shadows. So if you want to see more videos like this subscribe if you haven't already and if you like this video, give it a like, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!